To deploy Parallels Remote Application Server in Azure is very simple. First, you go to Microsoft Azure Store and you type for Parallels. Once you have your selection done, click on Parallels Remote Application All-in-One and then select on Create a Virtual Machine. What is also very important in this page, you will find all of the documentation and guidelines on how to operate and use the virtual machine. For example, how to use the quick start, how it's priced, success stories, and so on. So first, let's deploy a virtual machine and then log in into, uh, into the VM in a few minutes. We'll create a new virtual machine instance We will log in into Azure, confirm the deployment model, it's using Resource Manager, and I will use a default name for the machine because it's everything pre-configured as All-in-One. The username, you can put any name as you wish, test user, your name, or so on. So I'll use test user, password, and uh, you add uh, or use an existing resource group. I already have several in my environments, and then I will use one here called demo, and the data center that I want to deploy. Second, I will confirm the sizing. So for a proof of concept, you can use a DS2 uh, under 2v2, select, pricing will be confirmed and computed. We can use the default uh, networking capabilities, you can change it later, click OK. And once the validation is done, we will click OK. Here we'll see the pricing, Parallels Remote Application Server All-in-One, zero dollars because licensing is done for Parallels My Account and this is going to be the cost for you to run the POC per hour. You can use um, Azure free account $200 credit if you have one and the cost for the proof of concept will be virtually free. Let's click on purchase and now the VM is created and let's connect to it. You can click on connect. We open the RDP connection And here you can use the user that's defining the quick start guide. It's RAS, and the password is R at S2017 exclamation mark, like this. Once you log in, we will accept the networking settings and open Parallels Remote Application Server. You can use the same user we just used. We're checking the configuration of Parallels Remote Application Server. And now you have to reactivate your license and trial key, which is fairly simple. You go to Licensing, Manage License, you have to have a Parallels My Account. And you can either activate a trial or use an existing key. Trial has been activated. Click Yes. Settings has been refreshed. And then you can start playing around with your environment and publishing new applications. For you to find out your external IP address to access the remote application uh, server uh, gateway, it's fairly simple as well. You go back to um, your connections here, and in network interfaces, we will see the public address. So you copy this IP address, which is over here. HTTPS, RAS, HTML, 
five gateway. You accept the certificate and here you can use your user ID. Click on login. Everything is connected and published and you can see that Chrome has been already published and we have some accessories here for you to test. So let's take a look into the WordPad. You can either use the client and the HTML5 client. So let's use HTML5. And here is the application published. So we completed the process to provision remote application server in Azure as a trial with a few applications published and the testing is completed.